The investigation continues tonight after two people are found shot dead in Cedar Rapids. The shootings happened late this afternoon on the far southwest side of Cedar Rapids on Dean Road. CBS 2 News reporter Jason Hackett is live at the scene with the very latest. Jason? Yeah, Scott and Tiffany, as you said, we're out here on Dean Road southwest just off of Highway 30 at the subdivision called Goldfinch Meadows. Now, from where we are, we're across the street from the complex. From where we are, the scene is down about two buildings and then to the left. From that scene earlier, about an hour ago, we saw two tow trucks leave. Those two tow trucks are carrying two pickup trucks, one white, one red. We don't know how or if those trucks are related to the shooting, but we just wanted to pass that information along to you. Also within the hour, we've seen a fire truck come and go from the scene. Now here's what police are telling us so far. At around 4.40 this evening, police received a call saying there were two bodies in the parking lot outside of the buildings, outside of one of the buildings here at Goldfinch Meadows. Police arrived to find a man and a woman dead on the scene from gunshot wounds. They're not releasing the ages or the names until their families are notified, nor are they saying the type of gun used. They do say, however, they believe it is a, a domestic situation that ended in a murder-suicide. We spoke with one resident who lives in the subdivision. She says this type of stuff just doesn't happen around here. I live over there, so, I mean, it's pretty nice apartment complex. Never had anything like that happen there before. It's a little scary to go home to tonight. It's a little scary knowing that someone's willing to just come do that in the middle of daytime and a large apartment complex where people are home and can witness that. So. Now, again, police say they're not releasing the names or the ages of the victims until their families are notified. That might be early, uh, Monday at the earliest. Now, stay with CBS 2 News throughout the weekend and throughout next week. As soon as we get updates on this situation, we'll bring them to you, whether it's through Facebook, Twitter, or our website, cbs2iowa.com. Covering the corridor tonight in Cedar Rapids, Jason Hackett, CBS 2 News, 10 at 10.